What's up everybody, it's Vicky J and it is time for an Ulta haul. So let's just jump right into it. I have a lovely bag of goodies that I can't wait to share with you. So let's just jump right on in. First things first, buy one, get one half off on Neutrogena. So I did, I bought two of these uh, double packs and I have four and it's a total of 50 towelettes. These are like the um, kind of cult favorites. I see these a lot um, as a favorite makeup remover cleansing towelette. And these are just the, the regular ones, the refill pack. Even though I don't know what this is supposed to go inside of, I mean, I'm just going to take it out and wipe my face off. You know what I mean? So I got two. And then I did get one of the Dose of Colors Holly Bay sets. I'm wearing one of the lip colors right now. They are super pretty. I got the red one. Um, there's also a nude Holly Bay set. Um, I don't know what it's called, but I will say Dose of Colors um, looks like they're online only. Because when I went into the store, they didn't even know what I was talking about. They were like, what's Dose of Colors? I don't know what that is. But anywho, it is vegan, cruelty-free, gluten-free, and paraben-free. These are their signature liquid lipsticks. Matte finish. Very comfortable. And uh, as you can see, they look quite beautiful on. Gonna just... And they have the ingredients on the back, so... You can check that out. I just noticed that there's beeswax in here. If you're allergic to beeswax, probably not the right one for you. But they look like this. It's just a little sliding cover, a little, little pocket, little sleeve like that. And then you have three versions of reds in this uh, particular set. The one I am wearing is the darkest of the reds, and it's called Extra Saucy. I would say she's quite saucy. And then the next one. And I'll go ahead and swatch it since I'm not wearing it. The next one is called Strawberry Pop. And this is definitely a more pink looking, yeah, definitely a more pink looking liquid lipstick. Still a red. I would say on a pale girl, this would look way more red than pink. But I think to me, that looks like a strawberry pink, which is, you know, a nice little combo of like, red is it red is it pink kind of deal um i do think it's really pretty you know if you look at it next to extra saucy you can see it's a lot brighter and a little more pink like leaning more towards pink and then the last color is called bittersweet and this one looks like it has a little more orange in it to me yeah definitely a little more orange red a lot more orange red so you get three totally different reds. They're all beautiful, very nicely pigmented. Like I said, it's a very comfortable formula. It is pretty transfer proof, but not to the point where it's gonna dry up and crust up and everything. I just exfoliated my lips, had a little moisturizer on like while I was putting the rest of my face on today, and then blotted it off just before I added the color, um, the lip color, and my lips feel really great. So next up, in this bag of goodies is a liquid no a bullet lipstick from Anastasia and Beverly Hills some people say Anastasia some people say Anastasia you know whatever's clever ADH uh, this is my second bullet lipstick they retail for $18 which I think is a really reasonable price for these they're very comfortable this is a very very comfortable matte y'all um, and they are matte finish this one is called insomniac look at this y'all you're gonna see this in my get ready with me video I love it like I saw this and I was just like I want to do something fun and funky with that like that's a color that I absolutely do not have anywhere in my collection it just seems like such a fun shade that you know sometimes when you just want to shock the girls when you just want to when you just want to shake them a little bit you know you just throw on something like this just pow in your face you, 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 you know, you ain't ready for it. This is the kind of thing people would shy away from. They're afraid of. and I just needed it in my collection. I think it's really dope. It's like a mint green or turquoise. Like, depending on your skin tone, it probably reads more one way or the other. I love it. I paired it with a gray and brown lip liner. Mixed them together and then put this on top. And it was just like a really cool 
kind of bruisey or like kind of a like a neo goth kind of look in my opinion it's just really cool it gave me like funkadelic vibes like one of um george clinton's all-stars or something the next thing i'm pulling out here is from mario badesco and uh, it's the uh, facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water i really love this spray i had a really small one uh one time that i got like you know how you're at the at the um checkout area and you get the travel size thing so i bought it that one time and it works really well as a toner so i was like hmm you know it's a nice little refresher spray i will definitely pick this up so this is like their second size up there's another size that's bigger than this one and this one was only seven dollars so you know it's really nicely priced so i just went for it and i think everything else in here is from morphe so morphe is in store now and online and they were having they were having some kind of sale i know that i, I definitely wrapped up and I had been wanting their sponges. I wanted to try their sponges for quite a while. So I picked up two. I picked up this one that looks like kind of like an hourglass shape almost. Um, it reminds me of the Sephora ones. And then I picked up this one, which is sort of an adaptation of, in my opinion, this is an adaptation of the Real Technique sponge. And I heard that when these... Um, when these are wet they get super big so covers a lot of surface area you'll be able to do your makeup really quickly if you're using this for foundation and this one in particular is peaked on both sides so you can chisel your cheeks like you know cut your cut your uh cut your cheeks right there with the uh, defined contour things like that you can like you know powder bake whatever uh, very very multifunctional i find that these are really nice under the eye this shape right here so i got both of these and then the rest are brushes a bunch of morphe brushes so let's go through them i have the m510 this i saw and i immediately thought that this would make a great highlighter brush it looks like the goat hair version like i know their white ones are goat hair um, i have one of them i like them i will say that they don't clean very well like once you dirty them with a highly pigmented p uh product um it's very hard to wash it out so i don't know just be aware of that the next one is the m441 and this one looks like a really nice blending brush for shadows next these two are synthetic brushes i'll keep keep up with the with the natural hair brushes so then this one is m433 this looks like a nice um blending brush as well a little bit smaller you can use it as a, sh a shader if you'd like uh, i think this will get nice and tight into the crease for me and then a fan brush um this one is going to be really awesome the, the m310 i feel like this will be a really beautiful uh, fan brush i have another fan brush but um I wanted to try a natural hair one just to see you know if it's any different i have another blending brush here these are synthetic and this is an m504 this looks like a really nice blending brush you could even get away with using this as a highlighting brush i think and then the last one is a really fine crease brush and this is the m507 i would i would really consider this a fine crease brush or even just getting under the eye i feel like it will blend really beautifully on the lower lash line as well and that is it that is my haul um for those of you who have made it to the end of this video i do have a little surprise for you i'm not going to mention it in the title because i only want people who have watched this video all the way through to benefit from this giveaway so loves i hold in my hand two ulta gift cards both valued at 50 dollars each how do you win this gift card you may ask again my giveaways are really simple i just want you to have things <laughs> so um this is going to be domestic only just because it's going to be in us dollars and i'm not exactly sure you know what the international policy is for ulta all you got to do is be a j bay which means you need to be subscribed to my channel this is only going to be for youtube i am not posting this anywhere else so you don't have to be an instagram uh, follower you don't have to be um somebody on facebook who likes me on facebook you don't have to be a snapper 
is that what they call Snapchat people? Anyway, uh, you don't have to be any of those things. Just a J Bay. Subscribe to me on YouTube. That is it. And then in the comment section, tell me your New Year's resolution. This giveaway will end on January 15th, Martin Luther King Day, which is also my mother's birthday. <laughs> um, so yeah, just let me know what your New Year's resolution is going to be. If you don't have a resolution, just something that you are hopeful for, for 2018. Okay, really? <laughs> like, why am I so clumsy? So what you're hopeful for for 2018, I'll tell you what I'm hopeful for. I'm hopeful for a healthy, beautiful baby girl. I am hopeful for more independence and financial stability. I am hopeful for, you know, creating a home and a, and a amazing nuclear family for my baby and myself and just good health for all my loved ones and an even bigger fro we'll go with that i had to put something vain in there why not so yeah that's what i'm hopeful for um and what are your resolutions or what are you hopeful for for 2018 either one or both just leave them in one comment in the comment section on this video and I like I said the um, giveaway will end on January 15th there will be two winners which will be announced in a pinned post on this um, video I'll contact you by email so leave your email address there which should be your Gmail <laughs> you know what I mean like I'm, I'm guessing but you know just because mine is connect you know Gmail I don't know anywho that's it I'm rambling at this point uh, I just wanted to give these away because they were given to me uh, by Ulta this is not sponsored Ulta just gave them to me because I spend too much money I'm all about paying it forward so two fifty dollar gift cards to two of my J-Bays come January 15th. You just gotta let me know what you're looking forward to for 2018 or what your New Year's resolution is. Good luck to everyone. And uh, happy new year, happy holidays. Um, I'm so excited that I got to like have a little little shopping spree. This, this part right here, y'all haven't seen hauls from me in a while, right? So it's not, it's not, it hasn't really been that, um, that easy to do it so this was nice um, just to get you know I love tools and um, you know just some necessities and a little bit of fun as well it was a lot of fun I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to comment in the comment section and let's have a chatty chat on top of the giveaway entries and um, I look forward to seeing your answers I'll see you next time thanks for watching Mwah.